Bless up my viewers, welcome back to the channel. So right now my viewers, the video that I want to show you is actually a footage of a video in Jamaica that happened not too long ago. Not mean a while ago, but a couple days ago. That's actually on the Edward Siaga Highway. If many of you don't know the highway there. So my viewers you have to be careful. I want to traverse at night. I want to drive on the road at night to make sure I want to wind that down. Any stone, anything roll out in the road, I want to don't stop. Because you can see in the video where the youth push the bicycle in the way for the van man to stop. So you know what I'm going to come after that. So I don't need to tell you what I'm going to come after that. Jamaicans are very smart enough. They can read between the lines. So they know how that. How much a clock has tried. That's all. So, viewers, law by the citizens, we have to just be safe. Yeah, man, be safe on the gravel. So, in here, my viewers, we are getting to the story. We don't want to stretch it out and talk too long. We are giving you information where we come for you. Man killed in St. James police military confrontation. A man was shot and killed during a confrontation with members of a joint police military operation in Albion, St. James, on Friday evening. He has been identified as Danawa Van Samuels, known as Pinchas, of an Albion address, according to acting commanding officer for the St. James Division, Carlos Russell. The security force were on foot patrol in the Arlson Drive area of Albion around 8.50 p.m. when they observed two men approaching Russell said the men were alerted to stop but instead open fire on the foot patrol team. Fire was returned and Samuel was it while the other men escaped. Russell said a black pistol and seven rounds of ammunition were also seized. Them man uh, not have not name sense. I want to try to attack a fleet of JDF and different um, soldiers. When all always come out and they lose in end. An identified man killed in hit and run in Long Bay, St. James. The police are reporting that a man was killed during a hit and run along. The Long Bay Main Road in St. James on Saturday morning. Acting Commanding Officer for the St. James Police Division, Carlos Russell, told the news that the police responded to reports around 12.15 a.m. On arrival of the police, the body of an unidentified male believed to be in his late 30s or early 40s was seen laying face down in the left-hand lane of the main road. The man's skull was visibly cracked and his limbs appeared to be broken. He was clad in a blue jeans, shorts, without a shirt and was barefooted. More news to come on this one. So viewers, stay tuned. Like, comment, share subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you will be updated whenever a new video drop man killed at sizzler judgment yard in august town a rastafarian man was last night gone down at the judgment yard compound of veteran entertainer sizzler in august town st andrew the fatal shooting take place around 11 30 Judgment Yard is the home of Sizzler, whose real name is Miguel Collins, as his base, which has several houses, a restaurant, a studio, and a museum. The man was identified by his alias, Culture, was a close associate to the reggae veteran. It is reported that Armin entered the area and fired and hit the deceased several times. The gleaner understand that Sizzler was not at home at the time of the incident. Investigation into the matter is ongoing. 
Two held after shotgun seeds in St. James. Two persons have been taken into custody for questioning in connection with the seizure of a shotgun in the parish of St. James on Saturday. Two 12-gauge cartridges were also seized. Reports are that members of the security force conducted a targeted raid in Granville, St. James, during which the weapon was seized. The St. James police are investigating the incident. Indicom probing fatal shooting during security operation in St. James. The Independent Commission of Investigation, Indicom, has launched a probe into Friday's night fatal shooting of a man during a confrontation with members of the security force in St. James. An illegal black pistol and seven rounds of ammunition were reportedly seized. During the operation, the deceased has been identified as Donovan Samuels, otherwise called Pinchers of St. James Address. So if you guys don't know Indicom thing already, Indicom have to jump in you know, once a man get caught up, don't know say Indicom have to always step in to give for them like a two cent. Three. Wanted men held in first 36 hours of St. Catching SOE. The police are reporting that within the hours of 36, the declaration of the state of public emergency for St. Catching, three wanted men have been apprehended. In addition to the arrest, two firearms and a submachine gun and a revolver was seized. Two wanted men were held for sexual offence and other for murder. Their names are being withheld until the charge are preferred, said the police. The state of public emergency was declared for St. Catherine on Friday following the deadly violence in the parish that have been linked by the police to gang feud. In one incident, gunmen opened fire in the market district killing two since the business has been slow in the commercial hub. Vendors welcomed the police and military present in the area on Friday acknowledging that the rampant crime has impacted businesses in the around Spanish Town area. They also said they feel safer with the security force around them and will have to work with them and the state of public emergency and the measures being employed by the authorities.